Hey everyone, welcome back to the makeup chair. For today's makeup tutorial, I wanted to show you guys how to create a very glamorous party look, but keep it really, really simple. I'm basically showing you guys how to go from day to night in just a few easy steps, because who has a lot of time to get ready around this time of year? Not me, there's so much going on, and sometimes you just wanna look super glamorous without putting in so much effort. So I started off with very basic makeup that I wear day to day. I applied my foundation, I filled in my brows, I curled my eyelashes and applied mascara, and I applied some lip balm, and this is actually tinted red, so it's a great starting point for this red lip that we're going to do later. So the first step from going day to night is highlighting and contouring. I show you guys how to do it in two ways, one with creams and one with powders. You can layer them over each other or just pick and choose. All you need for cream contour is a foundation or a concealer that's one or two shades lighter than your skin and also one or two shades darker than your skin. You're going to map out the face just by using a concealer brush. I use the E34. Create a triangle underneath the eyes, going from the inner corner, down the length of the nose, and then up towards the temple and fill that in. Then using the arch on either side of the brow, mark this in and draw a line across. This is as far as you want to go with your highlighter. Then create a little triangle going up towards the center of the forehead, then down towards the center of the nose, working along the length of the nose onto the cupid's bow, along the edge of my lips as well, and then onto the chin. Then use whatever's left over to go along the jawline. This is just going to create a sharper finish when we apply our contour. Then for contouring, I'm gonna go on the other side of my arch, along the top of the hairline, down the center of the nose, keeping as close to that highlighted area as possible. I'm using the top of your ear and the corner of your mouth as a guide. Go right into that hollow space along your cheeks. And a little extra step is to apply the cream contour into your crease of your eye, and this will just add a little bit of shape to your eyes as well. And then buff everything out with a damp sponge. Just bounce it off and on the skin, and it'll just disperse the product, blend everything beautifully together, and you're gonna get that flawless finish. And this will give you more coverage without looking like a mask because you have the different tones on the skin. It looks a little bit more natural rather than just all one color. At this point, you can set it with a setting spray or even translucent powder, but if you want to go the whole way, you can then go in with your powder contours, or you can skip cream and go straight to powder. So you just want a powder that's a few shades lighter and one that's a few shades darker, and you also want to make sure you're using the right brush. I love this brush, which is the F32. This is amazing for highlighting underneath the eyes, getting alongside the edge of the nose, and I'm basically going over exactly the same areas as I've already highlighted before. So along that triangle, center of the forehead, center of the nose, Nose, Cupid's bow, chin, and then along the jawline. Basically mimicking exactly the same thing that we did with the creams. And do exactly the same thing with your darker powder, going over the areas that we want to contour, but I have gone up a few steps with the brush. This is the F30, so it's the big sister of the F32. Line it up with the top of your ear and the corner of your mouth, press it inwards, wiggle it, and then blend it upwards. And I'm also blending that contour into the crease, and this is just gonna add some shape to the eyes as well. And one last thing that I like to do is to go in with a large powder brush and just buff this over the skin. This will just make sure that the creams and the powders are all blended really nicely together. You can go ahead and apply your blush, but I won't be applying blush for this because I'm wearing such an intense red lip. I don't want to compete with anything on my cheeks. To add a bit of glow to my skin, I'm then gonna go in with the Inglot Sparkling Dust, and this stuff is amazing. It is so beautiful. I have it in shade number one. I'm gonna use the F29 and apply this across the tops of the cheekbones, the center of the lid, the inner corner, and then just a little bit on the cupid's bow in the center of my nose. This stuff is so amazing, it's so beautiful, and it catches the light so well. I love it. For the next step, all you need is liner and lashes. I'm not gonna do anything crazy with the eyes. We've already contoured, highlighted, and applied a little bit of shimmer, so I'm just gonna go in with my liquid liner and apply this across the lash line. And you can go as thick or as thin as you want with this. You can wing it out or taper it out. It's totally up to yourself. But my favorite thing about this time of year is lashes. I am obsessed. Apply some lash glue across the band and then holding the lashes in the center, apply it in the center of the lash line, not the center of your eye because your lashes actually start a little bit in from the center of your eye. So if you put the middle of the lashes in the middle of your eye, they're actually gonna start a little bit too close to the inner corner and this can be uncomfortable. So make sure to put the center of the lashes a little bit off center of the eyelid and this will just make it so much more comfortable for you. And the final step is to apply something onto your lips. Choose whatever color you want, but I just think this time of year, why not wear red? Everybody does, so you can kind of get away with it. I actually chose two different shades of red, one a very dark and one a very light color, and I kind of contoured and highlighted my lips as well because it kind of went with the theme that we were going for for this look. But use a lip brush to blend the two together just to get a more softer effect. But that's it. That is how to create this super glamorous look. It didn't take us too long, hopefully. I want to see you guys recreate this, so definitely send the pictures either on Twitter or Instagram. Tag me 
in them, I want to see them, and I'll see you guys in a video really soon. Happy holidays!